addiction for most of his life. Through the struggles, he has learned valuable lessons and enjoys sharing those lessons with others. His speech is entitled Confessions of a Recovering Coward. Everyone, please help me welcome Brody Miller. Hi, I'm Brody Miller, and I'm a recovering coward. <clears throat> the word coward is harsh, but let me explain first. The word coward can be defined as somebody who lacks the courage to endure dangerous or difficult things. It's derived from the Latin word cauda, which means tail, which is in reference to a frightened animal with its tail in between its legs. Cowardice is a disease. It's contagious and it spreads from person to person. Just like the flu. Excuse me. It all begins with taking the path of least resistance, or as most like to call it, the easy way out. It all starts with a lack of honesty. That's being untruthful to yourself and others. Instead of facing my fears, I ran to the next bottle and the next medicine cabinet. Due to my actions, I endangered myself, my community, and worried my family sick. I didn't want to face my demons of the past. Do I regret what I did? Absolutely. But I learned a lot of lessons from my mistakes. I admit I was selfish and lacked direction. But my younger self did not have the tools to face certain emotional situations. And I do not fault myself for being lost. And I send love to that young man that I was. The path of least resistance is seen in all of nature. It's the feeling when we don't want to get out of bed in the morning when it's super cold, foggy. It's our mind's way of conserving as much energy as possible. This is why creating a new habit is so difficult. Because it gets, but however, a new habit the more that we reinforce it, the easier it gets. They say it takes between 30 to 210 days to create a new habit. And the more we repeat those behaviors, neurons wire together. Just as we can carve out a new pathway in the forest, it's extremely difficult at first, but the more that we groom that path, the easier it becomes. We all must stop taking the path of least resistance and start begin carving out our new path in the forest. Refuse to take the path of least resistance because either way you're going to have to face that resistance one way or another. I like to think of it as a karmic gatekeeper that has the keys and says, stop, stop. You must pay for all your past actions. So my question to you all is, would you rather pay for your actions where the only toll is discipline? Or will you wait until your actions have serious consequences? So what we repeat, we ultimately become. And that's no different with cowardice, truthfully. It all starts with facing our fears. Psychologists call this exposure therapy. For example, if your greatest fear was the fear of spiders, you can lock yourself up in a room with all the spiders. Scary as hell, I know. But 
with these spiders, the more that you repeat that, the more your mind's going to tell you, okay, you survived this. Maybe it's not as dangerous as you're making it out to seem. I admit not all fears are fears that we can face on a physical realm at all. But this is where the power of visualization, or as I like to call it, mental rehearsal pays off. So what I do is I close my eyes, I take a two deep, few deep breaths, and I imagine that fear as if it was right in front of my face. What will happen is often your heart will start racing, your pupils are going to dilate, but you have to know that if that fear is right in your front of your face, what are you going to do? And the more that you do that, the more you program yourself to be able to face your fear. Ironically, the biggest fear for many is the fear of public speaking. Most people would rather be in the damn casket than giving the eulogy. This is why I knew I had to challenge myself to become a better public speaker. Believe me, some days are better than others, and some days I feel like just a tiny little shrimp. But the main point I want to get across to everybody is that you can build courage one step at a time. Take it from a recovering coward.